Hey guys, this is James. And this is Denny from TDB, and we have a special guest with us today, sir. Yeah, I'm Jake Knapp. I'm a photographer and a tea enthusiast, and I got to go on a recent uh, tea sourcing trip with uh, Great Horse Teas, Andy Buckman, and we spent two weeks in Guangzhou, Xiamen, and Wuyishan, uh, sourcing mostly oolongs, and in this case, uh, Feng Huang Dansong. Cool. Well, um... Let's get to brewing. Yep. Yeah. So here you are, sir. All right. So this is episode 93, so if you haven't already, yes. just make sure you check out episode 92. Brewed a really delicious uh, by Jiguan that uh, Jake also picked up, or, well, I guess Great Horse Teas picked up on their sourcing trip. Yeah, totally. And so this is a Phoenix tea, and we're just talking about how these can be a little finicky, um, and I love that you're filling the guy along yep, we're all the way. Yeah, we're going to do style. Totally cool. <laughs> Um, what a bit of leaf. And so with the Phoenixes, do you, yeah, I mean, I've, my experience with Phoenix has been uh, hit or miss, to say the least, and probably because I'm not getting the best stuff ever, um, but this is a tip, I would, if I was going to start not knowing anything about this tea, I would use a lot less leaf, so, mm-hmm. um, yeah, can you just speak to this? Tea yeah, bit? so they, uh, dance songs can definitely be finicky to brew, you can, it's easy to oversteep them, um, but apparently this variety comes from older uh, older tea trees, so it's it, hmm. it's not as it's a little it's harder to get it uh, to oversteep it and get right. it and get it kind of bitter or whatever. So um, do a little rinse on this guy. One thing that I always notice about phoenixes is, is that <clears throat> they have this like slight purple color to the to the core. And this one's very pronounced. Like right away when you smell this, oh. have a smell. Mm. Oh, like it's hard to ignore so the the, fruit, fruity. the fruitiness of it. Yeah, right? yeah. It's super fruity. <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, and you know, one of my favorite parts about drinking tea, beyond of course the experience of drinking, is the preparation. Having you know, trying to smell the dry leaf and then giving it a rinse and then seeing, oh my gosh, it smells so much or doesn't smell at all. Uh, and with Phoenix teas, especially, the aroma is just wild. So. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this. So I started out with a pretty, pretty quick, quick steep there with the hotness of the water. We'll give this a try and see where this goes. Cool. All right. Cheers. 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 Thank you, sir. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. It's so fruity. Yeah, it's very it's so fruity. It's very, very fruity. This is probably honestly one of the fruitiest teas I think I've ever had. It almost tastes it's definitely up there. Like Peachy. F- yeah, it almost very tastes peach. like fake yeah. fruit. It, almost uh, <laughs> like almost kind of like mango a little bit. Kind yeah, of a yeah. peachy yeah. mango ness. Mm-hmm. And there's a nice like because there's that that nice roast little hint of. Um, bitterness that happens kind of three quarters of the way through yeah. it balances it out if it was just like this it would almost take taste like just kind of fake and weird mm. but having that sort of flow of um really sweet fruity notes kind of a little bit earthy nutty and then having it kind of like close itself off yeah it's not it's it. not nearly as florally as, as some dance songs can be that can be typically a little more floral notes to them oh. definitely more fruity yeah look at the See, this is what always gets me too. Is that it's definitely green. I mean, mm. you know, it's it, these roast look so dark, but you can definitely see the green in there. You For know? sure. Um, so let's give us another shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably only Beautiful. get greener as we keep going. Totally, totally. But yeah, I mean, looking at looking at the actual base material, um, we might have a close up in there. Uh, it looks really dark. Nice big um, intact long leaves. Just great base material, always awesome. So, yeah, for sure. So, um, what in terms of drink? We you know, one of the questions we like to talk about is when would you drink this tea? Uh, would you drink it with friends? Would this be a tea that you would invite someone to try so this, for the first time? This particular tea is uh, it's not really it's it's not the cheapest tea. So this like as far as teas that a great horse tea carries, I believe this is actually his top, most expensive tea. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he sells this one for around twelve dollars a gram. Okay. Or oh, sorry, wow. twelve dollars an ounce rather. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. <A little> more <laughs> correct that. Twelve dollars an ounce. <laughs> okay. Um, still which reasonable. which is. Which is honestly still pretty reasonable. Definitely. I mean, I, I I think if this tea was anywhere else, it could sell for a lot. It would sell for a lot more. His yeah. prices are very reasonable. Um, but that being said, um, this is one that um, when I, I purchased it was kind of more for uh, you know 
special special occasions and it's definitely not an everyday tea for me totally um although it is very delicious yeah absolutely although this, you know the thing that strikes me about this tea is that it's so um it's it's intense and so i could see it um not even being enjoyable on a daily basis it's just it's just kind of like hmm. a shocker and yeah sense. it's very it's very potent very very fruity yeah for sure yeah. Probably would not be the best tea to introduce someone to tea with, mm. just because it's so uh, unique in its character. Mm. It's like softening up, but there's definitely still that fruit taste. Mm. Hey, much more minerally. Um, uh, I don't want to say earthy, but yeah, minerally flavors off, out of this one, and the sweetness has balanced yeah. out a little bit, I think, mm. as well. Nice full body. Mm -hmm. um, it's right on that sort of riding that wave of a little bit of bitterness that I'm I'm really yeah. enjoy, especially mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, but nice long taste, nice long dynamic, texturally interesting taste. Do one more here, real quick. Oh sure. yeah, definitely. all right. Um, and yeah, I, I agree. I think this would be for me a tea that might not be the most accessible. Um, the first steeping maybe, but the steeping not as much. Yeah. Um, and how long can this tea go for? That's the other thing is this one. So a lot of dance songs I've had prior, would you get maybe six or seven? I would say this one will give you 10 plus solid okay. steeping. Awesome. Yeah. Especially when you're brewing it short with a lot of leaf and, and hotter water. Yeah, absolutely. And do you tend to brew just like that in general or is it, you know, yeah, particular not always tea? all generally like my general, uh, the way that I brew is I'll usually use five grams of leaf. For most teas, mm -hmm. uh, maybe certain ones like greens and things like that, maybe a little less depending on. Um, so I won't always brew it with that much, but uh, yeah. So generally, I wouldn't go as hot either. Um, this is kind of a Chaozhou tea, so they brew it. They typically brew it that way in Chaozhou with a lot of leaf, hotter water, shorter steeps. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, totally works though. Yeah, yep, yeah, sure. call it it's that it's that minerally rock taste kind of thing it's not smoky but there's something about um mm. it just feels close to the ground i don't know i don't mm. know how to describe that uh yeah. but in a really nice way um in like a pleasant and kind of complex way and yeah the mouthfeel and finish on this is just wild um this is a great tea yeah, yeah i'm really enjoying it nice. so <laughs> <sighs> mm. okay well, Jake, yes. someone a little bit to learn more about tea, what should they do? Or James, whoever wants to plug our awesome show. Please, please talk now. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. okay. Uh, come check us out at tdb.org as well as hit that subscribe button above uh, for our channel. Uh, we're releasing, I think, three videos a week if we've kept up with it, um, as well as articles and stuff like that on the website on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, and Jake, where could someone find out more about Yeah, so also uh, greathorsetees.com has a good a variety of uh, some unique teas, some Uyghur teas, and just a good variety all around of some stuff to check out. Totally. So. And if, just for you for your sake, too, if someone's local or in the Bellingham area of, of Washington and they wanted to look yeah. you up for photography, what would be a good way to get Yeah, so you? my photography is called uh, Cloud9 uh, Photo and Design, uh, so uh, designc9.com. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for being on the show, man. Thank you. Um, hopefully, we get to bring you on again. Awesome teas. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. And, great uh, stuff. Yeah. Thank you yeah. both very much. Yeah. yeah. Thanks Cheers. For See you guys on. next time. Cheers. Cheers.